12 forecast. Well, for the most part, pretty quiet weather today. Before we talk about the weather, did you feel the uh, small earthquake last night? We had a 1.6 magnitude quake uh, centered near Portsmouth at 8.52 p.m. It was felt. Uh, there were some reports of it being felt in Bristol, Barrington, and East Providence, and actually in Tiverton as well. Felt that little tiny earthquake. Keep in mind, this is the fourth earthquake reported in Rhode Island in just the last several weeks. Does it really mean anything? Probably not, but uh, you know, certainly interesting to get four quakes in uh, su such a short period of time. Here's a look at the clouds out there in Newport right now. It is uh, nice and dry, but we have had some rain showers come on through. In fact, where there's green here, that's where we've had just a little trace of rain, even two hundredths of an inch of rain out there on Block Island. You can see those showers coming on through earlier. Now they're gone, but we are looking at some pop-up showers, a couple of downpours working from Foster, uh, maybe into. Gloucester up into Greenville and North Situate finding these showers and they're working northward and they may hold together a little while and work their way toward North Smithfield and uh, perhaps up into Boroughville. More showers and thunder off to our west. They're going to be working their way into our area a little bit later on in the night. So threat tracker for tonight, nothing overly impactful. Most of these storms come on through uh, during the wee hours of our Monday morning. Most of Monday's quiet, Tuesday looking gorgeous. Here are the clouds. They're in New New Bedford right now and in Providence some dark clouds as we look off to the north probably some of those showers and downpours uh, there in northwest Rhode Island temperature of 69 degrees with a wind from the southeast at 11 miles an hour Cumberland's at 70 they're looking at calm winds 70 in Smithfield 69 in Providence Newport 66 over in New Bedford we're standing at about 70 degrees temperatures fall off through the night and uh, settle into the low to mid 60s so we've got that batch of showers earlier more showers thunderstorms Storms off to our west, associated with a cold front, it's going to be sweeping across the northeast over the next 24 hours or so. It'll only slowly be working its way through. So we're looking at the chance of showers and thunder as we head through the nighttime tonight, right around midnight, and maybe till about four or five o'clock in the morning. Looking at the threat of some showers. Then we'll see some clearing tomorrow morning, ending up with quite a bit of sunshine. Can't rule out a spot shower during the afternoon, but I think most of your Monday during the daylight hours should be dry. Here's how Monday breaks down. So some kids still go into school. Temperatures in the 60s, low 70s in the morning. Lots of clouds. We'll eventually get quite a bit of sunshine. Temperatures kind of warm, especially inland into the lower 80s. All right, here's your forecast for the next seven days. Tomorrow, beach-wise, we'll get lots of sunshine. Maybe a spot shower in the afternoon, but most of the day looks good. A little humid tomorrow. We lose the humidity for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday starts to get a little bit more humid, but we're dry, watching for the potential for some scattered showers on Friday, but they should be out of here for next Saturday and Sunday. WPRI.com is where you can get the weather.